guys, it's Katie with Factory Direct Craft, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make this decorative baby rattle. These are super cute used to decorate a nursery. You can set it on the shelf, and it just looks um, really pretty. What you need for this project are some wooden beads, some black acrylic paint, and I use apple barrel acrylic paint because it's non-toxic. You need some stretchy cord, and I'm using a gold cord today, a pair of scissors, and then some large wooden rings and a paintbrush. So once you have all of your things together, let's go ahead and get started. The first step in making your decorative rattle is painting your wooden beads. Um, so I have these guys right here and whew, on one of them I'm gonna do a polka dot pattern. So I'm just gonna take my paintbrush and dip the end in black um, acrylic paint and I'm using apple barrel. It's non-toxic, which is exactly what you need for this project. Okay, and I'm just gonna put little polka dots all over my wooden bead. And I'm gonna choose about three different patterns for this rattle. So I have my polka dots and I'll just let those dry. And then um, my other pattern I have is kind of a brush stroke pattern. You can see it right here on these ones that are dry already. So what I did for that is I just dip my paintbrush in the paint and pull it gently along at kind of random spots. Try to keep the strokes roughly the same like width and length. And there we go. So once you've painted all your beads, there we go. Once you've painted all your beads, we're gonna go ahead and string them together. So I have this stretchy gold cord. I'm gonna cut a piece and I'm gonna put them on. And you're gonna put them on in order of the pattern. So starting with my polka dot, then I'm gonna do a brush stroke bead and my other bead is a half painted. So then back to the polka dot. The brush stroke and the half painted. So I'm just going to get all of these strung on here. And so I have nine beads on mine. Push them together. And then you wanna take your wooden rings, slide them over the beads, and then you just knot the end of your stretchy cord. Nice and tight. And that is how you make a decorative rattle. And I'm just gonna trim the ends. And there's the finished product. Anyways, I hope you guys have a lot of fun with this project. Thanks so much for watching. 